What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick. I just wanna do a video, forget the Jackal Gold Kick thing, forget the whole YouTube thing and the YouTuber side of it. I just wanna vent. I just wanna talk about things because I currently don't feel well emotionally and I wanna vent about these things. I like when rappers do it and I wanna do it in a video because I'm just very, very depressed right now and I'm just simply gonna call this video Life Sucks because honestly, it does. It really, really does. Um, things just haven't been well recently. They really haven't been well um, for a number of reasons. Number one, the most, the most well obvious people know me, the porn addiction. I tried to kick the porn addiction since like late 2022 and haven't been able to. I have fell back into it multiple times this year. And wondering if I'm ever even going to be able to get away from the addiction and wanting to stop using it and just dumbfounded and aggravated that I even went back to it and I was doing so well staying away from it but I'm trying not to count anymore on this new streak of getting rid of this porn addiction because I feel like counting makes it worse so I got the porn addiction to me going through this cycle again making me feel like complete shit as it does coming off addiction um, just not, just, you know, there's that, um, the fact that I feel far behind in life, I don't know how to drive a car, my dad never taught me how to drive a car, so I don't even know how to drive a car, never even own my own car, never even own my own house, um, and I also feel like this YouTube channel I have should be way bigger than it is, it should be a lot more successful than it is, never been in a relationship never been with a woman um, I've been wearing the same black baseball cap hat since 2021 I mean I got financial problems but I'm trying to save my money even though maybe I should get a new hat but you know is that really important saving up money should be more important I have bad anxiety problems in public when I'm around people I um, I I just don't do well, you know, when I'm around people um, in public, I just have anxiety and it's from the porn addiction. And another thing I have that sucks is OCD and OCD perfectionism, where it's like things have to be perfect or reassurance asking or, you know, just a lot of things in life have to be approached and thought about a certain way. So OCD, anxiety, the porn addiction. Um, I don't have any friends in real life. I don't really have a whole lot to do. I mean, for the most part, I'm in this fucking house all the time. You know, I may be able to go for walks and, you know, when I get the chance. So, so I, you know, maybe do I, maybe I can do daily walks when I get the chance to leave the house. But, you know, a decent part of my life still is being spent at the house. And it can drive you crazy being stuck in the fucking house. You know, it just sucks. You know, it sucks that I'm, and I'm 23, by the way, going to be 24 later this year. And I just, I feel far behind in a lot of things, you know, and I'm not saying I'm just accepting this and I'm accepting all this stuff I'm dealing with and just not going to make adjustments. I'm trying to make adjustments. Well, I don't want to use that word because I guess it doesn't make it sound like you're going all in, but I'm attempting to make adjustments. Like I'm not giving up on quitting the addiction. I'm I thought of a new strategy, this live stream thing I've been trying, and you know I still keep up on the walks because I want to lose weight. Because the you know the weight issues is another thing. You know, um, I'm self-conscious about when I'm in public. You know, constantly worrying is this or that person going to say this or that? Or are they gonna are they gonna talk shit? Um, having a hard time standing up for myself in confrontation areas, like if I ever occasionally deal with some asshole or deal with something bad it's like I'll make an excuse for being a wimp and not being able to stand up because of how I was treated by my dad because of what the porn addiction did to me and how it destroyed me as a person you know all the all, all the years of my life I've lived being in the house all the time being on social media being on internet being isolated um, you know life just sucks honestly you know, you can, you, you can sit there and tell me there's good and bad days, but 
which is true, but just today I feel like life sucks. I mean, yesterday I didn't feel that way. I felt happy yesterday, but I just feel like life sucks at the moment, you know? And I guess this camera, I'm treating it like I'm talking to a therapist, which I should get a damn therapist, but you know, you're pretty limited when you don't have a car. I mean, technically I had a car, but um, my piece of crap father got most of them. He got one of them because you know, back when my mom was with him, she made the mistake of signing in his name, in his name, even though my grandfather bought that fucking car. He doesn't deserve to have those vehicles. I'm not going to name names, but there's people in my family. You know, I'm just going to say it. Well, I don't know if I should say it, but what I'm just going to say is this. There's people in my family that my mom has helped out financially, but they don't help us back financially. They don't even hit us up. They've never even been to our house they haven't even been to our last house um and you know what else could i say i'm self-conscious about my body you know i hate the fact that i'm fat but at least i'm making an attempt to walk um but i hate the ocd because it gets in the way of my recovery because certain things that aren't a relapse i think are a relapse my OCD, like my ocd thinks it's a relapse because of the, the porn addiction uh, sleep is another thing I stress and worry about a lot. Even with the morning schedule, I stress and worry about sleep a whole lot. Where I'm like, man, you know, I want to go to sleep early. And, you know, I try to keep a morning sleep schedule for the most part. But there's times where that gets deterred or I start to fall having to sleep later. Um, you know, I drink a lot of caffeine as I made a video about caffeine addiction. Um, I was bullied in school growing up, even though I did eventually stand up for myself. But, you know... Right now, in some right now, I just I hate myself. I do, you know. That could that's definitely the porn addiction. You know, it involves self hate, but I hate myself. You know, for um, just the fact that I feel like I could be way better as a person, and I just don't feel like an upstanding citizen or upstanding person. Um, you know, because let I me mean, look at this. I'm fat. I'm a virgin. Never been with a woman. Financially, I'm a wreck. Never had my own house. Never drove a car. Never even had a car. Um, I have a hard time being in public and being around people and having anxiety issues. I'm slowly making baby steps to handle confrontations, but I suck at confrontations and I suck at standing up for myself because of how my dad treated me because of the fucking porn addiction. Um, and also being in this house a lot and not having a lot of opportunities to constantly go places. If I had more money like that and I had a vehicle, damn right I'd be leaving and traveling state to state and country to country. You know, I just, I feel like, 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 like addiction wise, I feel like Eminem from 2006 and seven when he was on pills, but then like lifestyle wise, I feel like Hobson when he was in, I want to say maybe like before he got his mental health checked or helped out, I feel like him, you know, when he was stuck in the basement all the time making rap songs, but you know, had all these issues. Like I just wanted to vent about things and talk about things, get them off my chest. You know, I was in a stream earlier with some people. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta get this off of my chest. I gotta talk about it because I don't want this emotion I'm feeling to either, you know, because this, this emotion I'm feeling could cause me to go back to my addiction. So why don't I just make a video venting about this shit, just to say life sucks because it fucking does. You know, it shouldn't be good and bad days. We should just always have good days. You know. But a lot of it isn't my fucking fault because I had a shitty father. You know, if I had a strong father figure who was a strong male role model, I wouldn't have half or probably most of these problems that I do have, you know? But, I mean, I guess there's good things about me, but, you know, when you're having a bad day, you don't care about that. You don't think about those things. You can't be grateful or appreciate stuff when you're having a shitty day. So, you know, in reality, maybe a lot of this stuff well, not all of this stuff, maybe some of the stuff I'm saying about me, you know, hate myself and stuff, maybe it's just a phase thing, because I am having a bad day, but I just wanted to vent, that's what I wanted to do in this video, just a venting video talking about problems and things and stuff like that, and why I just feel like life sucks, it's basically what I want to talk about here, um, because I always liked how music artists talked about stuff they deal with in songs and, you know, I don't know how to fucking write music. I haven't tried to rap in years, so let me at least do it in a video format. Um, but yeah. And another thing I worry about is how I'm going to go about the dating and women scene. Like, if I actually get rid of this porn addiction, how the hell am I going to go about the dating scene and the women scene? I have no experience with it. I had a week 
father figure who wanted to do nothing but play video games and be a criminal and live off my mom and uh, just a fucking loser. You know? It's like I had a good mom, but I had a shitty father. It's almost like I was gifted and cursed. No pun intended or reference to Dennis, but it's just, it's a lot. And I, I wanted to vent about all all of it in the video, you know, and, I, and I'm not trying, you know, and I don't want to come off as someone that keeps a consistent theme of, uh, woe is me, make people feel sorry for me so I get attention. That's not what this is about. This is me venting, mental health type stuff, just let people know what's going on. Because, you know, it, it's common for people to say, how's it going? And in the past, I used to lie, maybe I still lie here and there, but I try to be more honest, like, well, you know what, I'm not really doing well, you know? So, yeah, I just want to vent about things and basically just say that life fucking sucks because it does. Also, things are expensive. Things are too expensive. I remember I only had like 30 something on Patreon, I think last month or something. And I could, I could only afford like two days worth of food for me and my brother and all the money was gone. It's like stuff is too expensive. That's another fucking problem, man. And then this, this world has become so changed and affected by Internet and social media you know, I miss the 2000s, man. When I was a kid, I feel like there was a lot of things that were better. It was before I was a porn addict. It was when I had more friends and friends and people to hang out with. And I had a real world and entertainment. Unlike the 2010s and 2020s where it's like internet and social media have become such a problem where they've affected humanity. A lot of people just live on the internet and social media now. And I'm not perfect because I do a lot of that. But I just, I hate how things have changed. Yes, there's good things about internet and social media. But damn it, it's affected the world in bad ways because... You know, relationships and friendships and hanging out with people and stuff like that just doesn't happen as much anymore. And I, I feel like I don't see as many people outside as I, you, you know, should because of that stuff. Damn, man. Life fucking sucks. And that's what I'm going to call this video. Just wanted to vent about things and go along with this and just talk about things on my mind and stuff. And it's really all I got to say in this video. Felt good to do this. Well... Hopefully it feels good to upload this, but I had to say it. Peace.